Hey, it's Kathy with Level Up RN. I am going to work through a strength of beads problem from our dosage calculation workbook. In our workbook and the accompanying videos that come with the purchase of a workbook, I actually work through this problem two different ways. But for the sake of time here, I'm just going to use one of the ways to show you how to solve this problem. Okay, for this particular problem, we have an order for three-quarter strength formula to be given at 30 milliliters per hour. We have a 240 milliliter container of formula, and we need to know how much water we need to add to the formula and what the total volume of the solution will be that will be administered to the patient. So three-quarters strength means that three parts of our solution will be formula and one part will be water. So our 240 milliliter container of formula will make up these three parts. So that is 240 milliliters. So if you divide that by three, that means each of these parts is 80 milliliters. So we've got 80 milliliters here, 80 milliliters here, 80 milliliters here. And we need to add that fourth part of water. So that's going to also be 80 milliliters. So the answer to the first question is how much water do you add? We're going to add 80 milliliters. And then in terms of the second question, what is the total volume that will be administered? We're going to have 80 for each of these four parts. So our total volume will be 320 mLs. When watching me solve this problem, you may have noticed that I did nothing with this 30 milliliters per hour. And that is because that number is irrelevant for the questions that were asked in this problem, which is something you will see all the time in nursing school. They will throw you lots of different numbers and only some of those numbers may actually matter for solving the problem. So definitely don't get freaked out when you see a whole bunch of numbers really just consider the numbers you need to know in order to answer the question at hand. 